Michael Copeland. Mr. Copeland. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. In addressing this issue, I seek to give offence to no one and to tread carefully. But I think it's important that we understand that the men and women of the Royal Ulster Constabulary Reserve and their colleagues in the police force, in the Ulster Defence Regiment, in the regular army, were among those who in the darkest days of this province put themselves in harm's way. And now they find an amount of money which is not large given to them and taxed and national insurance deducted from it. Delivered to them in an envelope which identifies their place of residence and their former service. It's hard to understand the impact of that unless, like some in this chamber, you lived through it. Even to this day, turning the ignition of your car on and the engine firing without the bonnet exploding brings a sigh of relief. To this day, not letting more than one person into your car before it bumps down the curb that separates the pavement from the road. So if there's a mercury tilt switch under the bonnet, only one person will be injured. The inability to hang working shirts in the line in case the neighbours see it. All of that, all of that is not a symbol of grumpy men and women approaching middle age with a history of service. It's not a symbol of them living in the past, but the past living in them. Because what a section of this society went through and was put through cannot be adequately quantified in words or represented and offset by money. It's unfair to blame Minister Ford individually, although his colleague's notion of ministerial responsibility is perhaps somewhat skewed. But someone, somewhere, took a decision that brought back a nightmare for a large number of people. I have three in my own office, all expressing concerns, one of whom was actually identified when they sent the forms out in the first place because the, the envelope was delivered through the post had been tampered with. I cannot begin to try and explain to those who did not live through that how the impact of events in the past impinge on the present. I know myself what it's like to get a telephone call from the guard room in Hastings Street Police Station when it begins there's been a shooting. The, the, the thumping heart, the dryness, the shaking, the drive to try and find out where you would go to find out the truth and the relief when, thank God, in my case, it was not serious. No one can understand the way that comes back. In one case, which I can speak of very close to me, it resurfaced 31 years after the event with a thrashing in the bed and a coating of courtesy as an essential quality and one that will smooth many's a path instantly known to anyone here as one of the first definitions of being a constable in the Royal Ulster Constabulary. Whoever made this mistake, Minister, whoever made this mistake, with no vindictiveness, speak to them and tell them and make sure, please, that it does not happen again. I support the motion.